Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Narvekar. Currently, I am pursuing my final year B.Tech degree from Electronics and Telecommunication Department. In this video, we are going to study AOCS that is Attitude and Orbit Control System in Satellite Communications. So, let's get started. First of all, we will start with the basics of AOCS. As we have previously seen, AOCS stands for Attitude and Orbit Control. What does the team Attitude of Satellite mean? Well, attitude of satellite means its behavior with respect to earth station. We know that most of the times in satellite communication, narrowband antennas are used and these narrowband antennas cover a very small amount of area. That is, their footprint is small. Hence, it is necessary that uh, the antenna of satellite should point towards antenna at the earth station for successful communication. For this, satellite should rotate in its predefined orbit. If it deviates from its predefined orbit, then communication will be lost. And this deviation can be caused by uh, gravitational forces from Sun, Moon and other planets. As satellite moves around the Earth, these forces change cyclically over 24 hour period. Satellite may also deviate from its orbit because of other reasons as stated here. Irregularities in Earth gravitational fields. We know that Earth is not a perfect sphere and hence uh, gravitational fields at different earth positions is different. Next is solar pressure from sun. That is pressure created by sun on the satellite. Variations in earth's magnetic field. We know that earth is a huge magnet and it has north pole and south pole. Therefore, because of variation in magnetic field, satellite may deviate. Earth is not a perfect sphere. It has bulges of around 65 meter at the equator and because of which satellite is accelerated toward one of the two stable points in the geo orbit at magnitude 75 degree east and 105 degree west to maintain accurate station keeping the satellite must be periodically accelerated in opposite direction to the forces acting on it this is done using small rocket motors that can be controlled from earth station with the help of ttc and m system ttc and m stands for telemetry tracking command and monitoring system Attitude and orbit control system that is AOC subsystem consists of rocket motors which help the deviated satellite to bring in its right orbit. With the help of rocket motors, this AOC subsystem helps in order to make antennas which are of narrow beam type to point towards the antenna at the earth station. AOC subsystem consists of mainly two parts. First is attitude control system and second is orbit control system. There are again two methods of attitude control subsystem. First one is spinning the satellite and second one is three axis method. We will study them shortly. Now we will study spinning the satellite method in attitude control subsystem. In this method, satellite body is rotated at around 30 to 100 rpm to produce a gyroscopic force which helps in bringing the satellite in its correct orbit. Due to this, spin axis gets stabilized and the satellite will point in the same direction. Satellite of these types are called spinners. In this method, you can notice that the main disadvantage of this method is you have to rotate the whole body of the satellite to bring it in its correct orbit. Spinner basically contains a drum which is of cylindrical shape. This drum is covered with solar panels to produce the power required by the satellite. Power systems and rockets are present inside this drum. Here I have shown one spinner satellite named Boeing 376. It was introduced in 1978 by UJS Space and Communication Company. It was a spin stabilized bus that the manufacturer claims was the first standardized platform. In spinning the satellite method, the main disadvantage that we faced was rotating the whole body of the satellite and this disadvantage can be eliminated with the help of three axis method. In this method, one or more momentum wheels are used to stabilize the satellite. In this method, following three axes are considered roll axis, yaw axis and pitch axis. Roll axis is considered in the direction in which satellite moves in orbital plane. Yaw axis is considered in the direction towards the earth and pitch axis is considered in the direction which is perpendicular to the orbital plane. You can remember these three axes with the help of your right hand. Suppose my forefinger is in the direction of the orbital plane 
and my middle finger is in the direction towards the earth center then my four finger will point the roll axis and middle finger will point the yaw axis and my thumb which is perpendicular to the orbital plane will point the pitch axis these three axes that is roll axis pitch axis and yaw axis are shown in this diagram in three axis method each axis contains two gas jets that is for roll axis there will be two gas jets pitch axis there will be two gas jets and yaw axis there will be two gas jets thus there will be total six gas jets the first gas jet will be operated for some period of time when there is requirement of satellite's motion in a particular axis direction the second gas jet will be operated for the same period of time when the satellite reaches to the desired position thus the second gas jet will stop the motion of satellite in that di axis direction we can illustrate this with the help of suppose uh, our satellite is moving in right direction so that the first gas jet will force the satellite to move in left direction and the second gas jet will stop the mo motion of the satellite in the left direction and it will stabilize the satellite in the correct orbit now we will study orbit control subsystem which is useful in order to bring the satellite into its correct orbit whenever the satellite gets deviated from its orbit the ttcm subsystem present at the earth station monitors the position of satellite the ttcm subsystem is present in both satellite and at earth station in general satellite gets data through the sensors and telemetry subsystem present in the satellite sends this data towards the earth station therefore ttcm subsystem is very much necessary for any communication satellite in order to operate it successfully if there is any change in satellite orbit then it sends a signal regarding the correction to orbit control subsystem then it will resolve that issue by bringing the satellite into its correct orbit therefore ttcm subsystem plays an important role in bringing the satellite into its correct orbit in this way aoc subsystem takes care of the satellite position in the right orbit and at right altitude during entire lifespan of the satellite in space hence aoc system is the most important part of the satellite communication system now we will have one question and answer session in which i will provide you five mcqs and you have to answer it i will provide 15 seconds for each question let's go to the questions your first question is in spinning satellite method the body of satellite is rotated at dash dash to dash dash rpm your timer starts now hope you have got the correct answer and the correct answer is d now let's go to the second question second question is select the correct option from following for three axis method of attitude control subsystem and your timer starts now and the correct answer for this question is b now your third question is to maintain accurate station keeping the satellite must be periodically accelerated in the dash dash direction to the forces acting on it and your timer starts now And the correct answer is B. Now let's go to the fourth question. Fourth question is which of the following subsystem monitors the position of a satellite? And your timer starts now. And the correct answer of this question is C. Fifth question is which type of the force on the satellite provides stability of the spin axis and keeps it pointing in the same direction in attitude control system. And your timer starts now.
and the correct answer of this question is D. I hope that you have answered all answers correctly and thank you for listening to this presentation.